We should have uh, this program. Warning. Nerd snipe warning. Yeah. Cool. Alright, ready to go? I'll look down that one. Yeah. And do I need to do a clap or anything? Or um, no, no, it's right. okay. <laughs> So you are often a victim of nerd sniping. Uh, nerd sniping being, of course, seeing some interesting, usually hypothetical question posted somewhere on the internet that someone's like, how many, you know, what would happen if you had a planet made of blueberries, for example? And then you go away and actually calculate it. And yes. you actually wrote a paper on this particular question, right? Yes, indeed. Uh, so this began on Physics Stack Exchange, which is a site uh, I'm kind of mildly addicted to. And somebody, I, li I live there too, yeah. Mm, and uh, I, somebody posed this question and I started writing an answer. And then the moderators closed the question because it was silly. <laughs> I got so upset, so I decided I'm totally going to calculate this and put it on my own blog. And then I realized, actually, I can turn this into a proper paper. So now I'm working on resubmitting it to a journal. It's slightly tricky to find journals that take papers about the astrophysics of berries, but I'm working on it. And so what is, if you can summarize what happens to a planet? So imagine Earth suddenly turning into blueberries. Now you have a lot of blueberries and between them air. And gravity goes down, of course, because blueberries are lighter than right. rock. However, the pressure at the core is pretty big enough to pulp a lot of blueberries, so they start compressing. So now you get bubbles of air going up and a lot of blueberry pulp going down. So the whole planet compresses about 700 kilometers. Oh, that's all? That's all. That's not that much. It's kind so of like good. 10%? Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty good feeling fraction. However, now you have a lot of mass moving inwards, uh, uh, several hundred kilometers, and uh, a lot of air moving up. So this heats things up. So you basically get a boiling ocean of blueberry jam with geysers uh, throwing stuff up uh, far into this steam atmosphere. We have a steam atmosphere. Yeah, because there is a lot of water in those blueberries. Right. So you end up with this blueberry jam ocean, but the pressure at the core is high enough to create high pressure ice, most likely. So you get the kind of granita core inside the, the jam delicious. ocean. Yeah. It would be. Also, what happens is that the moon moves away because Earth's right. gravity disappears to a large extent, but it's still moving in an orbit in the vicinity. And sooner or later, it's likely to collide with blueberry Earth and splatter blueberries all, uh, all over the solar system. Why would it come closer? Well, the moon is an Earth-crossing orbit, so given the perturbations from other planets, uh, I think it's pretty likely that eventually you get an impact. It's kind of funny because it, the moon started with a Mars-sized planet slamming into Earth most likely, and then the moon forming of the remnants. And now we might have a moon returning and splattering a blueberry jam over the solar system. Thanks for watching, folks. If you enjoyed this, then make sure you click that subscribe button below because, well, you wouldn't want to miss out on any future videos now, would you?